Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Agustin Dollar Vlogs. And kung bago ka pa lang po sa aking channel, please don't forget to subscribe, share and like. At don't forget to panonood sa mga video ko na i-upload in the next days and even today. So, paki-watch lang po. Thank you. And this time po ay pag-uusapan natin yung mga karaniwang percentages na maari o nung lumabas na rin sa mga nakaraang BCLT exam. So, nagkaroon ako ng part 1 which uh, I stop at 20%. So, ngayon naman ay pag-uusapan natin yung maaaring mga percentages na uh, lalabas this BCLT 2022. So, with that, abang-abang po. Okay, let's start with this 23%. Ito yung allocation to local government units of total annual era or internal revenue allotment for every provinces and cities. Again, 23%. And of course, 34% naman po ang allocation to local government units of total annual era or internal revenue for every municipalities. Again, 34%. Next, the payment for repair of government equipment at cost exceeding 30% of the current market price is considered excessive expenditures. Again, if it is exceeding 30% of its current market price, that is considered excessive expenditure. This time po ay pag-uusapan naman natin yung business tax and franchise tax. Pagbago po ang inyong negosyo, and kukumpitan po kayo, at kukuha po kayo ng business tax at saka franchise tax, kukumpitan po kayo ng province ng 20% of 1% of your beginning capital. Again, pagbago lang po ang inyong negosyo, kukumpitan po kayo ng province ng 20% of 1% of your beginning capital. And in relation to the tax on business of printing and publication, the tax on franchise, especially on the provincial level, kukumpitan po ang sino mang kumuha ay kukumpitan po ng 50% of 1% sa kanyang gross receipts from the preceding calendar year. And of course, in relation naman po sa tax on uh, transfer of ownership, especially on the provincial level, which is 50 of 1%, ay manggagaling naman po ang pag-compute whichever is higher between the fair market value or its acquisition cost. And in relation naman po sa tax on transfer of real property for the city level, it is computed na 75% of 1% whichever is higher from the fair market value or its acquisition cost. Next, a province, city, or municipality may impose a special levy on the lands within its territoria, territorial jurisdiction is specifically benefited by public works, projects, or improvements. And it is computed 60%. The petty cash fund custodian may request a replenishment of the fund once the disbursement is reached 75%. And last but not the least, of course, 80% is the mandatory appropriation for local development and livelihood projects. It's a proceeds from utilization of hydrothermal, geothermal, and other sources of energy. Again, 80% mandatory appropriation for local development and livelihood project proceeds from the utilization of hydrothermal, geothermal, and other sources of energy. And thank you so much po sa pakikinig ninyo today or to uh, whatever time kayo um, nag-watch ng video na ito. So hopefully this is very helpful for your BCLT 2022 exam or next exams kung ano man uh, schedule date kayo magtitake. And and aantabayanan niyo po yung mga susunod kong video which I will tackle um, about the dates, years and days na maaring ding lalabas sa exam. With that, thank you so much and good day.